All right, RQ1 students, uh, we're going to go over inserting a very, very simple glass door, which we're going to use as kind of our shower door here. So we have our uh, toilet room here. We have our shower room here. And generally, you know, you make a custom shower room. They'll pour some concrete down here. They'll put tile along the walls and the floor, and they'll put a glass shower door. We're going to kind of make one um, not necessarily super correct, but... Uh, you know, it's going to teach you a new skill. So what we're going to first do is we're going to select this wall and we are going to essentially split it. And we want to split it right on that edge. So now I've got just one simple wall here. I'm actually going to click and delete that. So we now have an opening. And this is where our wall is going to go. Or what we're going to call a curtain wall. So once we have this break, we're going to go to architecture. We're going to select wall, architectural wall, and you're going to select down here, and we're going to do something called a curtain wall. And a curtain wall is essentially just a wall that's made of glass. So we're going to take this curtain wall, and right now it's set at 20 feet, so you know I'm only going to have about 9. And I'm going to draw from about the middle of this wall all the way over. And I'm going to be okay with that. So right now I just have pretty much a pane of glass in a way. I can go my 3D view and you can see it there. Um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an actual uh, door here. So I'm going to go back to level one floor plan and this is pretty important because I don't have a cabinet here. It wouldn't be a bad idea for me to place this cabinet in so I just get an idea of where my uh, let's see here 48 there we go. So now I know that pretty much where my door needs to start. I can't have it start anywhere here because I have this awkward gap. So I can't have a door here. I can't walk into this awkward gap to get into it. So essentially I have to have a door that starts somewhere around where my cursor is. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a curtain grid. So I'm going to select curtain grid. And um, you're pretty much going to go here. And I'm going to set this at about two feet. That's my first curtain. And then I want to set how wide my door needs to be. And for my shower door, I'm going to have my shower door roughly, you know, two feet wide. Um, that should be okay. And I'm going to click again. So now I have these two lines in there. And if I go back to the 3D view, those lines are going down. And so we're not done yet. Um, what I need to do next is I need to set up my curtain grid for my height. And so how tall do I want my door to end up being? Um, in this case, you could have it go all the way to the ceiling, but I'm not going to actually have that happen. Instead, I'm going to have an 84-inch door. And so as a reminder, we have 84 inches. 7 feet is 84 inches. That's 7 feet. So we are going to take our curtain segment, and we're going to put it roughly... Um, we got. 7 feet, 7 times 12, that's uh, 70 plus there. That's 84 inches. Um, I'm going to click there, see what that is. That should look fine. So, again, I kind of just ran on one line, and I had it so it said 7 feet. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to go back, and we're going to load um, a door. So we don't necessarily need to use the door right away but we're going to load it so we're going to go to load family inside the insert we're going to go to doors and we are going to insert a single glass door we're going to hit okay so that's going to put in the door family for us now this is kind of the difficult portion what you're going to do is you're going to move your cursor so you kind of have the whole wall selected and you're going to hit the tab button on the wall here you can see here it's kind of being a butt there we go until we get this section. And I'm going to click it. So this is where we want the door to be. So now that I have it clicked, I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to actually change that to my glass door. So you can see here my glass door has a little bit of a handle on it. Um, that's where it would be opening. If I go back to my level one floor plan, um, it actually shows the door symbol opening. Um, next, what I need to do is I have these weird glass panels that are kind of put together. I need to create something called mullions. And mullions are those metal pieces that kind of hold any of the glass structure together. So to do that, I'm going to go back to architecture. 
I'm going to select mullion. And where the mullion is, I think it comes up as a standard 2.5 by 5 inch rectangular, which is far too big. So go ahead and change that to 1 inch square. And you're just going to select pretty much those lines that you made. And you can see here it's going to place in the metal backing. And then one at the bottom. Now, there's our glass door and our shower. So what would happen next is we would just pretty much place a base down here. Um, we'd probably tile the walls, uh, some green treated, um, either some green treated uh, gypsum wallboard, or we would put in some uh, quick concrete wallboard and then put tile on top of it. So there is how we make the door. Again, you go to level one. There it is. If you need to watch the video again to get an idea, please stop it, play it, whatever you need. So there is putting in a glass door, and I think it looks pretty cool. All right, thank you.